me show you how to keep the dice rolling when you're doing that thing over there. Hey, let's go! Cause I'm feeling like I'm running and I'm feeling like I gotta get away, get away, get away. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back, back to my channel. Um, this video was supposed to be a part two to my moving series, but as you guys can probably tell by looking through my videos on my channel, there is no part one. Um, it's because I took it down. Um, why you may ask? Because I failed. Um, things didn't go as planned. The apartment complex was not very communicative at all whatsoever. They kept changing our moving date. It wasn't ready on the day we're supposed to move in. Um, they basically lied to us about um, multiple things, including hey, the know, fees like that I were due on moving day. Um, the night before at like 8 p.m., they sent me my yeah, lease and my welcome letter, which stated something completely different from what was discussed over the phone and in person um so the morning of the move-in i had to come to the sad conclusion that we were not moving into our new apartment with that being said um i still wanted to post this video because i did get some good vlog content and then on top of that i just want to share with the internet that not every experience is perfect a lot of youtubers on youtube post their moving vlogs and their experience is literally like goals they can purchase a apartment for like two thousand dollars and then not only that including with the moving fees through the days within moving in they have their apartments fully furnished and everything yeah that wasn't me um the experience itself was great living it but just watching this video back i get so irritated just watching it because i know that i failed but i want to show the world that failure happens and it's not how many times you fall down but it's how many times you get up so i really hope you enjoyed this video anyway if you have any questions regarding this experience um definitely comment them down below i will be free to answer any questions i'm not hiding anything i'm not holding anything back um regarding my current situation as well um but yeah i love you guys and i hope you enjoyed the video Outside, i've been losing friends and finding peace Empty. Honestly, that sound like a fair trade to me. Look, don't invite me over if you're going another way. I'm not. Can I get a thumbnail, though? Oh. Huh? Let me get a thumbnail. Okay. Make sure it matches. Is the mileage up. to our address? Yes. Like the apartment? Yes. Okay, well, if but it's. But she said, make sure that matches that up there. I see that scuff right there. I don't want us. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Ma, ain't no point of us. Lord have mercy. Yeah, ain't no point of us leaving. So far, they gave us a U-Haul. The paperwork contract said that the gas was supposed to be at 3.4 and that the mileage was supposed to be a certain way. 3.4. I mean. 3.4 is three quarter tanks. I stopped because when I said eight, though. Why didn't you give us the Raleigh truck? It's literally Raleigh truck right there. Yeah, oh, they I'm suck. Bad. Oh, but yeah, we gotta go ahead and figure this out because yeah, they're not finna get us. But you know what I'm saying? Telling us supposed to be what is it? <laughs> Three quarters yeah, gas in there, and it ain't enough. Oh, and all this is not right. They short on the goddamn quarter tank. I mean, the three quarter tanks. You messing up too? And <laughs> over on the mile. I mean, under on the mileage. That's a seven five twenty eight, and that's a seven. Damn. Okay, that's a seven six five thirty four. That's a seven six five twenty eight. Twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty three thirty three thirty four. It's like seven miles off. And then the gas. It's probably like uh like half of a quarter tank off. Either which way, it ain't right. Here you go. I'm gonna take you back around. It ain't no point of walk. Ooh, that's a long walk. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, so I'm driving my car now. He has the U-Haul. He's gonna be pulling up behind me anytime soon. I did pull off before he got in. Just because the traffic is, I would have to go across like five or six lanes of traffic and it was an opening, so I took it. So I hope <laughs> the U-Haul starts up and all of that because I would have just left him a man stranded. All right, so I'm back home. Um, I'm just sitting in front of the house waiting for him to pull up. I just want to tell you guys kind of what I'm about to do because obviously 
can't really help with the whole moving process because I am 30 weeks pregnant right now and yeah lifting out the picture driving is also out the picture because let me tell y'all I got a cramp a second ago while turning into my apartment complex and I literally was going zero miles per hour turning in this drone going at zero miles per hour over the speed bump because that drone hurt these pregnancy cramps ain't no joke giving birth ain't gonna be no joke oh my god i'm scared i gotta push a little human out of my body Ooh. he's about to pull up and start loading the truck um i'm about to grab the car put some gas in this car and uh, try to hit up patient first just because i have to get a physical for my new job in the new state and on top of that i there he is on top of that, I need to, um, get an oil change. I need to get an oil change because, yeah, my drone is on 15% oil life right now. And obviously, I'm not about to drive this car all the way to North Carolina with no freaking, ga no freaking gas and no oil in it. Like, what? Okay. He's here. I'm so excited to be moving. Um, I need to make some phone calls real quick. So I think that's what I'm about to do. Look at my key. Thank you for calling. Place your friends. You're welcome. I think she hung up fast. She was like, get the fuck out of my phone. And let me call the apartment complex. Um, hi, this is Lakia Miller. Um, I'm supposed to be moving in today. Um, is, am I still good to come get my keys at 3.30? Uh, Miss Miller, you're not moving in today. You're just looking at the apartment. But you're actually moving there, I believe, is the 29th, which is tomorrow. I already seen the apartment. with me was it okay because i viewed an apartment i think it was like d4 or something like that it, am i not getting the same apartment that i viewed give me one second When I um got approved the apartment, I said the 29th, and then I believe you called me and said that the carpets wouldn't be ready, and I would have to come in at 3:30 on the 28th. Right, you like I said, your apartment is is gonna be ready to see today, but your moving day is the first. I, actually, when I call you, I was trying to move the date to the fourth, but you tell me that is not gonna be available to move on the fourth, so I leave it out the first house you apply for okay there's no way that I can move in earlier than the first no okay and you said I'm still able to view the apartment today yes today uh, after 2 30 okay okay thank you Okay. And at least we got the most storage. <laughs> that too. So honestly, what we, what I think we should do is load this truck up. Basically, go drop it off at our little storage that we got for a month. That's what I was talking about. Take everything down there. Um. Oh shit. Then I'm gonna have to call. I'm about to. The next phone call I'm about to make is the people. I'm gonna let them know, like, okay, my apartment complex. I guess the carpet won't be ready in time. I can't start on the 31st. Top of that, my moving day ain't until the first. So I think I'm gonna have to call a click out and let them know the same shit. It will say fuck it and just go to work on the first. I'm gonna say we still all our stuff will be down there already. Yeah, we both. I'm gonna just do yeah, it. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna still go to work on the first. Fuck that. I on the other hand cannot because now only other issue is 
once we got everything in storage, it's getting our shit from storage to the house. Um, do you have any friends with trucks? I was thinking I could call Jamal and see if he um know anybody with a truck. I think if his daddy didn't go back to Mississippi, we could use his daddy truck. And if not his daddy, I think his brother got a truck. <sighs> Push come to serve. Hey, Dino. Hey. <clears throat> so the Okay, just to like fill you guys in on what just happened. Apparently when I did my lease, it said my moving day would be on the 28th, which is today. Um, the lady on the phone, as you heard, said my day, day, my due date. I'm not giving birth anytime soon. Um, my moving date would be the 29th at 3.30. You heard her say that too. I'm like, um, no, you called me a couple days ago. I was like, my carpet's not going to be ready at the 11. So you wanted me to come at 3.30 on the 28th. She was like, oh, matter of fact, no, your moving day is on the 1st. So I'm like, I'm supposed to be starting my new job on the 31st. So how would I be moving in on the 1st if I'm not even down there yet? So, we ended up moving the start date to the 6th. So, that gives me the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th to actually move in and actually get settled and do everything like that. So, that is perfect. I'll be starting on a Wednesday. And then, I believe I'll be working for that Thursday, Friday, and then an entire week. And then there's spring break. So, that's that. Um, definitely got to give you the spring break content. Um, pregnancy edition. <laughs> But yeah, um, as far as the apartment, we're we're fine. We're still moving. The road trip is still happening today. Um, normally with U-Haul, if you do like in town, it's a lot cheaper. But if you have like a one-way trip, then you get free month storage wherever you go. So that's basically what we're going to do. We're going to offload the U-Haul at the place, move all of our stuff into our storage unit, leave it there for a couple days, and then on the 1st, we'll be back to get it. We're going to be, I believe, staying with a friend or, I don't know, we might get a room. I don't know. But, yeah, everything's still going as planned. It's just a couple little hiccups, but we got this. We're good. I forgot to ask the rental lady about the preferred employee program. Basically, if you work for the city that the apartment is in, you get, like, no admin fee, no application fee, something like that. Because um, I definitely don't want to pay that $175. Um, no, because of this apartment complex, I missed out on my dream job in my dream city. And yeah. Yeah. I was supposed to be starting on the 31st because I was moving in on the 28th. But because apparently my moving day got moved to the 1st, yeah, I can't start on the 28th because I don't even live in the city yet. So then we moved the start date of my job to the six but then when they hit us with all those extra fees the day before moving we was like okay well we can move the moving day again and we'll just have to figure out how to get this money by then we didn't end up getting it by then so literally everything else just fell in the hole yeah i forgot this is not the big u-haul so it doesn't have that extra little shove up there that i was kind of banking on sitting the camera on I need him to bring something in here so that I can sit it on top of it. Honda dealership and we got to get an oil change. Let's get out this car for this lady come harass us. She keeps telling us to move up and scoot over. Yeah, turn this shit off. <laughs> she love to have her truck looking like that. How do you feel? How do you feel about this moving? Mm, I feel great. I'm glad we're going. You can't wait to get out of Virginia. I'm finally getting out of VA. <laughs> you gotta show him the, the, the YouTube stuff. Ha, 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 ha.
Yani iyisi bir ya. I must say, at least he got his boobs up today. <laughs> My baby. Oh, she sounds so pretty. My hand shaking. Come on. Bye bye. This one. It is. Can you come back over for your birthday and get your shirt? My birthday? Heck yes. That's your boy. It's so sparkly, though. I want to say I like the black, um, the black mirror. Yeah, that's it. I gotta record inside again. Now we're not gonna mess with this one. This one a little too out of our price range at the moment. <laughs> All right, guys, we have loaded the truck with as many things as we can. I think we got a little bit of space left. But that's basically all the big items. I'm gonna show you what the apartment looks like now that we're almost done. Um, we're basically finished. We're just working on the kitchen. This entire room is empty, closet empty. Um, these completely empty, closet is empty, bathroom empty. Um, the apartment complex that I stayed in, they don't have like any source of lighting on the roof, so that is why it's so dark. But but yeah, I'll hit you guys up whenever we're doing something interesting.